So I'm in my garage here. I bought this Pool and Pro 46 inch mower about three months ago. This was a project that I've been working on over the course of the winter time. Bought this mower for $100. My plan with this mower was to kind of fix it up and possibly resell it for a few dollars or keep it. Kind of wanted to show you some of the things that I've done. Usually when you buy these mowers for super cheap, there's a lot of things you've got to do to fix them up. I've replaced the battery. The engine was totally caked in oil. I cleaned all that up. Uh, I've replaced one of the front tires and I'm going to replace one of the rear tires. I put a nice coat of wax all over the hood and on all the metal. The person that had this mower before me put this um, nasty kind of John Deere sun rotted seat on there. I waxed the deck, sharpened the blades. So I'm going to replace the back tire today. It has a nail in it and I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. I've already taken the pin off right here. So you, you take this thing off here. An easy way to get this off is with this heat gun. Kind of got to heat this thing up right here or it's really hard to get off. So I just put the heat gun on there really good. Take it off. There's a pin right here. Looks like this. I took that off right here and then you just pull this washer off and take off the tire here. That's, this tire has this nail here in it and while I could probably pull it out and put a plug in it, the tire is kind of sun rotten so I just decided to buy a new tire. The tire cost 50 bucks to buy the tire so it's kind of expensive but if I'm going to sell this mower to somebody else, I want to know that it's in good condition and the tires are good. And if I want to use it, I want good tires on it. I've got this valve stem removal tool. I'm going to take the core out of the valve stem. Let the air out of the tire. You just put it in here like this. And you just unscrew. I got this valve stem removal tool at my local gas station. Probably a three or four dollars. Going to let all the air out. So we're just going to use these screwdrivers and try to get this tire off of the wheel. And it's actually not very easy to do. And it just takes a lot of patience. See if I can get this bead broken. There we go. So you put it in here like this. And I just go like this. Pull it out like this. Okay, so I got that side off like that. And then... There we go. Might be able to just get it on like this, pull it out. There. So that wasn't very hard to do. Just takes a little bit of patience and some elbow grease. So now is a good time to kind of clean this up. Get all the skunk off here. This is pretty nasty actually. Look like it's got some mold on it. Okay, so I just got, I just cleaned this wheel off, got all the gunk out, and I kind of cleaned it up. It's all the dust and dirt and grimes off of it. So now I want to take out this valve stem. So I want to put a new one of those in there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get that out of there, but. Well, that's not working. I need this way. I'm just going to try to pull it out of there. There. So pull this valve stem out of there and put a new one in. It's got these valve stems right here. This is about $3 or maybe five on Amazon. It says to just put it in here until it, you hear it pop. There, just kind of work it in there until it's sitting in there right. There we go. So I'm just gonna try to put this on the same way I took it off. I kind of just used force to get it off of here. Man, let's try that. There we go. So the same thing applies on this side. There we go. So now that I've got the tire on the wheel, one of the hardest things to do is to get the bead set. There are several things that you can do. You can try using a strap and wrapping around 
wrapping it around the tire and ratcheting it and then trying putting the air in. You can try using starting fluid. You spray it inside just a little bit and then you light it on fire and then you have this thing ready to go to put air in really quick. You can try that. So I'm gonna try my luck with taking the core out of this, the, the valve stem out and using this tool to see if I can force a lot of air in there really quick and set the bead. And hopefully I can switch and put the core back in then use this really quick. So I'm gonna try that. See if this works, just putting this in there really quickly. See if I can set the bead. Okay, so that worked. I used this thing to put the air in there and then I put my thumb over the top. I'm gonna to use this tool to inflate it. I think these things need to be at about um, 12 or 14 pounds. So once you get the wheel seated all the way on the axle, just put the washer back on. You want to put this re little retainer nut. These things can be difficult to get back on, but you want to use the channel locks to do that. So that's pretty well it. That's how you change the tire on a lawn tractor. So this mower runs awesome. I put a brand new carb on it, it was 20 bucks. That thing works great.